Hey everyone, I just wanted to make another video game prices video. Now, um, about eight months ago I made a video about how the game prices had really peaked in about April of 2021. And it was my uh, thoughts then that the kind of the price bubble had popped on video games and most of them were going down and uh, that's, that's what I predicted. I predicted things would just kind of continue to go down. And for the most part, I think I've been half right at least. <laughs> There's a lot of games that have been kind of just slumping since, you know, last year. But um, there's also been some kind of surprising things going on uh, in, in all, uh, you know, different consoles. But today I just wanted to focus on the PS1 because that's kind of where I noticed there was like some really interesting movers going on that I would have never expected, to be honest. So um, today we're going to talk about, uh, I think I got 15 PS1 game here, and I'm just going to show you how, for whatever reason, um, they haven't been hot for a while, but for some re reason this year specifically, they've just been taken off. So I guess we'll just get started here. Now the first game uh, we have here is Bloody Roar 2. And you can see uh, back in January here, it was only like 50 bucks. Now this game was kind of going up anyway at the time, but it's just really taken off lately. It's gone up 30% just this year. And it's uh, $65 now for Bloody Roar 2, which for a long, long time was, you know, around 20 bucks or so. It's never really been a super collectible game. Uh, another one that I thought was weird was The Simpsons Wrestling. <laughs> now, I've never played this one. Um, I don't know if it's actually any good or not. But here we can look again. Uh, you know, back in January it was $23, and now it's $31. That's up 35%. Pretty crazy for a Simpsons game. But I guess that's not too surprising, because there's a lot of Simpsons games that are actually going up a lot right now. Uh, Battle Arena Toshinden 2 this is an old fighter game that I think most people just kind of forgot about. And it's, you know, been under 20 bucks most of its life too, but, you know, just recently, uh, what was it, $23 back in January, now it's $32. That's a 40% almost. Now, uh, what I gotta say about these is, you know, I'm taking off I'm, I'm taking all these numbers off price charting, which for you guys that don't know, uh, this is a website that just kind of averages out prices that, you know, people buy these games for, I think mostly on eBay. And um, so it's not, I mean, it's not very accurate. It's just kind of gives you an idea. You know, some, some of these games, you know, it'll show that they're costing $35. Doesn't mean you can't get the game for a lot cheaper or pay a lot more for it too. You know, it just, you don't really know, this is just kind of averaging. But I think it's interesting to see these averages over six months or so, or over a year, because it can kind of just show you a trend of what these games are doing. And that's why I'm talking about these today, so... Let's go to the next one here, we got Fear Effect. Now, Fear Effect has always been dirt cheap, you know, it's always been under $20 as far as I can tell. The uh, second one, Fear Effect, uh, I think it's called Retro Helix. That one's always been a lot more collectible because I think it's more rare. But now oh, Fear Effect's going up too. This one, let's see, back in January is $23. Now it's up to $33. That's 43% increase just in six months for Fear Effect. Who would have thought? Here's one I don't know, uh, Rampage Through Time. Uh, I just kind of spotted this one because it took off for some reason. <laughs> Uh, it was uh, $38 back in January, and now it's going for around $55. That is a big jump, 45%, for a game I've never heard of. I don't know if you guys know this one. If, is it collectible? I, I don't know. <laughs> now here's one that I never thought was collectible at all, Roll Away. I've, I've actually thought about buying this one a couple times, but then I looked at gameplay videos and it just looked kind of like a boring, kind of like a puzzle game of some kind. And it's always been relatively cheap. 
but January is 23 bucks. Now it's $34. That's 48% increase. Uh, same with Jumping Flash. It was, uh, no, this is Jumping Flash 2. I'm sorry. Uh, I looked at De the December price for this one. It was 38 bucks and now it's up to 60 bucks. That's 58% increase uh, in the last seven months or so. It's just spiked up for some reason. Now I know these Jumping Flash games are, are kind of rare, so I, I know the first one especially I think costs more than this one, but this one just spiked up recently. Now here's an odd one, the Smurfs. <laughs> Going back to December 2, this one was only $17. I don't know anything about this game. Um, I've I've never actually seen it before, except on the internet. Uh, this one's 27 bucks now, so that's a 60% increase just this year for Smurfs. I don't know. There was like a movie that came out recently or something that people are getting interested in Smurfs again. I have no idea. Uh, now this one, I, I I've actually owned this one a while. This one's called Incredible Crisis. And I always had a feeling this one would go up in price anyway, just because it's such a bizarre and unique game on the PlayStation. But it's been really spiking lately. It was 35 bucks back in December, and it is now $58. So we got a big jump this year. And if, if you guys uh, have never played that one, it's very silly. It's like very Japanesey. Look, look it up on uh, YouTube if, you know, if you were thinking about buying it. Make sure it's the kind of game you might want to play before you actually purchase it. Um, now here's another interesting one, Armored Core. This is the original Armored Core on the PS1. Uh, back in January, it's $45. And it has gone up 30 bucks since then, uh, up 66%. Uh, to 75 bucks for Armored Core. That's kind of crazy. And th this one has gone up, you know, like 20 bucks just in the last couple months. I mean, it is just really become collectible all of a sudden. Um, here's one, Philosoma. Now I have this one. This one is, it's a spaceship shooter, but it's very, I don't know, it's very average to me. It's doesn't have great music. It's, it's really not that fun. But even this one back in December was 45 bucks. Now it's 75 bucks. That's up $30 already this year. Uh, the Evil Dead, Hail to the King. <laughs> this one is another game that's not very good. I think I have a burn copy of this one because I never really wanted to buy like an, a real version of it. But it's been on fire lately. It was, uh, let's see. 36 in January, now 60. That's a 66% increase for Evil Dead. Uh, now this one I know, this one, Omega Boost. This is a great game, very unique game on the PS1. And this one's kind of another spaceship shooter, but it's kind of a 3D game. And it's also got you know great music and just great atmosphere for a PS1 game. Uh, this one, has always been fairly cheap. I think it's been like 15 bucks as long as I can remember. But in January it was $32 and now it's up to $57. That's almost an 80% increase in less than a year here. Resident Evil Director's Cut, the same thing. I mean, I've kind of noticed that all the uh, Resident Evil games are been going up anyway lately. But this one especially, for some reason, it just spiked recently. Um, let's see here. Even just back in April, it was 45 bucks. And now it's going for almost $80. That, I mean, it's basically doubled. <laughs> it's doubled this year and just in 2021. I mean, 2022, sorry. Now here's the last one I got for you guys. This one was the most unexpected for me. And actually kind of inspired me to do this video. <laughs> I was looking at my old racing games on the PS1. And I said, oh, Ray Tracers. I remember this. I haven't played this for a while. I popped it in. I said, oh, I wonder how much this game's going for now. And I got this game dirt cheap. It was like $5 when I got it, you know. It was, I mean, it was probably like five years ago, six years ago. It's been a while, but 
Uh, this one's been, I think, around $20 for a long time. Uh, back in December, it was 26 bucks, but for whatever reason, people have noticed this one and they are after it because it is up to $66 uh, on average for a complete copy. I, that just blew me away. Because <laughs> this, this game is not, I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's nothing like amazing. It's just kind of like a racing game and you, you kind of crash into the other cars and there's, I don't know. I've, Actually, I haven't even played it that much because I, though every time I play it, I only play it for like ten minutes. I get a little bored of it, to be honest. But it is cool. But I don't know. It's gone up 155 percent in just this one in, in 2022. So people are after it, <laughs> and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other PlayStation games that you know people are gonna just kind of get crazy after for for some reason or another, and we're gonna see those prices go up too. So I'm interested in seeing which ones go up more and, and which ones go up less. Uh, you know, I could have made this video a lot longer and done like PS2, PS3, that maybe for another time. But um, hope you guys are interested in this kind of stuff. I, I geek out about these game prices and stuff. It's just fun, fun for me to watch and, and see what they're doing. But um, I'll see you next time, I guess.